Thank you very much. No pressure or anything. <laughs> so, wouldn't it be weird if your Facebook or your Twitter or your Microsoft Word were to stop working because of something unexpected and yet completely preventable? I've recently taken a course from the European Internet Registry focusing on BGP security. Uh, now, BGP is the protocol that allows two companies to connect their networks together. And when a lot of companies do this, we call it the Internet. During this course, I learned that the complete lack of native BGP security has long been the cause of many types of denial of service attacks, and that the best way to stop these kinds of attacks is to have good manners. Now, that is a little bit nebulous, I'll give you that, so let me explain further with a little story about my good friends Sam and Jenny. This is Sam. Sam has recently opened a small-scale ISP to provide internet to the local area. Sam also follows the mutually agreed norms for routing security to the letter. They use AS sets in their configurations. They use root filters and root origin validation. And best of all, they use RPKI. This is a protocol that allows someone to cryptographically sign their IP addresses, proving to the world that they are their legitimate owners, and that anyone else who advertises their IPs without permission are doing so maliciously. Sam is safe. Sam's roots are protected. Not everyone is so careful, however. This is Jenny. Jenny has been a service provider for a very long time, and as such, has felt less of an urgent need to adopt the most recent manners endorsed security standards. They already use AS sets in their configurations. They already use root filters. And they even upload their routing information to the right database whenever they remember. So they think that they're covered. They're not. One day, when an intern at Jenny's ISP uh, is trying to learn how BGP functions, they accidentally make a configuration error which makes several thousand BGP announcements stating that the way to get to Google, Microsoft, and Sam's ISP is to go to Jenny's network. This is a complete disaster. If nothing is done quickly, then all of the global traffic going to tech giants, Microsoft and Google, will instead be routed into some tiny local internet provider based in, I don't know, Fordwich. Uh, this would lead to Jenny's ISP being completely swamped, as it was just never designed to handle that much data, and it would shut down completely. There would also be data loss on Microsoft and Google's end as well, as packets that were destined for their networks just weren't going there. This isn't a problem for everyone, however. Sam is safe. Sam is protected. Sam signs all of their IP addresses using RPKI and root origin validation, meaning that as soon as those uh, false announcements reach a large upstream network operator, they'd just be dropped. Now, this story isn't actually about Sam and Jenny. I'm afraid they're just fictional characters. It's about a real incident suffered by one of the largest uh, networking giants in the world a company that I guarantee many of you here right now are using to connect to the internet. It was Vodafone in 2021. This was one of the biggest prefix hijack events in history, and it all could have been avoided if they'd simply followed the most recent and up-to-date routing security guidance given by the Manners Initiative. There was blame all around in the situation, however, as while yes, it was Vodafone's fault for advertising the wrong IP addresses. There is also blame to be had with Google and Microsoft for them not having their roots protected using RPKI and root origin validation. They should have known better. The protection of roots is an important and ongoing venture that will continue to evolve as time goes on. But just as how crowd immunity is the best way to mitigate the spread of the flu during the cold season, RPKI is the best way to keep not only you, but also the networks around you safe from attacks. Your information is worth securing. Please ask your network team, if you haven't already, whether or not their man is certified. You can find out more by going to these websites listed here behind me. They can explain it much better than I can. And in the end, remember, in security, in life, in pretty much every situation, 
Good manners will take you so far. Thank you very much.